Just before we start, if you like any of the videos that we do here, follow me over on Twitter, which is one Paul J underscore. I'll link that below. And on Instagram as well, which is one Paul J. It's only been a minute and there's some more iOS 14 and iPhone 12 leaks. First of all, the iPhone 12 design has been leaked and there isn't anybody that leaks leaks that hasn't confirmed that this is genuine. And this seems to confirm that the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro Max will come with that new LiDAR sensor that the new iPads came with a couple of weeks ago. This is something that Apple are gonna push quite a lot over the next couple of years. And we're not sure how useful this will be just yet. And I haven't had a chance to play with it on the new iPads. But what is interesting is to see this in some of the new phones. And as well as that, it seems to confirm that what we're gonna get on the new iPhone 12s will be that square almost cutout of cameras that will be on the back. On that square cutout, you'll end up having your wide angle lens, your telephoto lens, the main camera lens. And as you can see in the photo here on the bottom right, that is where you will have that brand new LiDAR sensor. As you can see in some of these renders from everything Apple Pro, the bottom right seems to be the more ideal place for that new LiDAR sensor to go. And that also means that the microphone will push just between the camera lens and that LiDAR sensor. This doesn't confirm what the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max will look like, but it gives us a pretty good idea from everything Apple Pro's renders of what we expect to be released later on in the year. Some more iPhone 12 stuff that we've had leaked in the last couple of days is this, is the iPhone 12 lineup. This was tweeted by John Proser and everything seems to be these days, but what it gives us is the whole lineup that we expect to see in the next couple of months being released for the new iPhones. What's interesting here is that there are four phones that are gonna be released at the end of the year, the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Plus. This might be called the iPhone 12 Plus, but there's nothing official on that name just yet. Some of the specs that all these phones will come with though are this. So they will all be getting the A14 Bionic chip. And then really interestingly, Every single one of these phones from the iPhone 12 to the iPhone 12 Pro Max will all have 5G enabled. As well as the leaks of what the specs are, we also have all the code names as well that Apple are using internally. So these are, for the iPhone 12, the smaller version, it is gonna be the code name of D52G. When you then move up to the iPhone 12 Plus, the code name is D53G. Then on the Pro side of things, you have the code name for the iPhone 12 Pro as the D53P. And then when you move over to the 12 Pro Max, it is D54P. And this doesn't really mean anything to us lot, but it's interesting to see all the stuff that is being leaked about these phones. And lastly, another leak tweeted by John Proser is the confirmation that we will probably be getting widgets on this iOS 14 home screen. And we've seen this rumored and talked about over the past couple of weeks and a few photos here and a few photos there, but it seems that this is absolutely happening with iOS 14. You can see from this picture here that the top right of the screen has a widget on it. And also the bottom right of the screen has a widget that is situated maybe wherever you want to put it. It'll be interesting to see what Apple can do with widgets and integrating them into iOS 14. And the last bit of iPhone 12 leakiness we've had over the past couple of days is this, that the notch will be getting smaller on the newer models of iPhone. This was something else that was tweeted by John Proser and you can see here in the pictures that that notch does look a lot smaller than the one that we have in the iPhone 11s at the moment. I can't exactly say how much smaller it is because it's just an image, but it looks to be about 20 to 30% smaller than the current notch. A couple of people are quite unhappy that the notch has hasn't gone all together, but Apple have to put those face ID sensors somewhere. And until they can put them behind the glass or come up with a better idea for it, then the notch seems the best way to go. It's been a busy couple of days with iPhone leaks over the past three or four days. And I'm sure over the next couple of days, we're gonna see more and more. And as soon as we do, I will do another video and let you know what has been leaked. So if you like this video, then subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video as well. And until next time, see you later.